Hello everyone, this is Paul from Orthway Valpal and what I want to show you today is how to manage claw toes or hammer toes, especially when you start to develop pain in the ball of the foot or underneath the metatarsal heads and when the top of the toes start to hit the top of the shoe, sometimes you'll get some irritation in here. That can be quite painful, it can, it can cause some breakdown to the skin and so mechanically that is irritating. So you can get a shoe that has a little more depth to it that can be helpful. But one of the other things you can do is improve calf flexibility because of the tightness. She'll develop, she's more apt to develop this type of toe posture. But one of the ways I really like to address this is with an orthotic and with a metatarsal pad. Okay, so you, it's, it's as simple as this, okay? So I want you to go ahead and relax your foot. There you go. And what you do is you take a metatarsal pad that is like this, and you place it just behind the second, third, and fourth metatarsals. So watch what happens when I push on it with my thumb, okay? Watch what happens to the toes here. Notice how they drop down like this and they relax. They're not so stiff. They're not so stiff. They move a little bit better and therefore the toes aren't going to hit the top of the shoe as aggressively. Watch what happens when I let go. The toes kind of come back into that position. So when she's walking, if we put that metatarsal pad underneath an orthotic similar to this right here. So I just temporarily did this, but I am going to glue this in place and that is going to put that pressure underneath the metatarsals. Not only is it going to help reestablish this transverse metatarsal arch here, but it's also every step she takes is going to help drop the toes a little bit and make this more comfortable. And immediately she noticed some results when we did that modification to her orthotic. So um, that's how I like to manage some of these claw toes and hammer toes. Uh, if somebody's not going to have surgery and if you're going to try to manage it conservatively. So flexibility and a little metatarsal pad can go a really long way. Thank you folks for watching. Um, if you uh, enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we have lots more content to come for you. So take care.